Kennesaw State Owls defeat Martin Methodist 86-60 to open the season. And the interim head coach, Khadija Head, joins us here. And coach, you've been waiting a long time for this day to come. It, it, what was it like this afternoon waiting for tip-off? Um, I felt great. Mm -hmm. You know, I woke up this morning with calm and in this new world of COVID-19. <laughs> you can't get too excited. We still needed one more test to come in and then our opponent, they had to come in right. and get tested. So it wasn't until I got the final thumbs up from Faith that both teams were good to go uh, that, you know, add a little spunk to my step. It's a new world and it's new players. Mm -hmm. I thought stepped up for your team this afternoon as Jashane Whitfield, a double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds, and Gabby Legister, who was our uh, Hercules player of the game with oh, her, man. a double-double. Great games for those two. Absolutely. Our kids have worked so hard uh, throughout the summer on their own. And then, you know, once we came back to campus and we had to pause the program, we have a high level of accountability. Yeah. And I think when you have a high level of accountability, uh, this is what results to it. And, you know, just Shea becoming eligible, huge, huge for our program and Gabby Legister is a kid that's put in a ton of work. And then, you know, you look at Stacy Jones and Imani Johnson. We got a great great line of, of numbers. I'm excited to see uh, this film and excited to get feedback from the players about their performance. Well, you talked about the high level of accountability that you guys have as a team, but also a high level of energy. You guys started that game and it kind of maybe dipped a little bit at the last <laughs> half of the first quarter, but started the second quarter and throughout the rest of the contest, you guys really came in with that energy. I want to highlight Julia Rodriguez and Jody Mullins coming off the bench just with crazy level of energy. Talk about the energy of this team. The one thing about all five of our freshmen, they committed to us during the early signing period when they were seniors in high school and they have been itching, clawing and scratching to get on campus. And normally, you know, we get our kids here in July and so they had to delay until August and then we had another delay. So I think it was them just finally getting a chance to open up their Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> well, they did. They opened it up and you've got an 86-60 victory. Mm -hmm. We don't want to uh, end this interview without saying uh, Coach, Bo the, what Coach Baranato means to this program and we know she, she tuned in and knows that mm -hmm. you picked up the win. Absolutely. Coach B is the cornerstone of our program. We don't take one step without her in our minds and our thoughts and our prayers. She's recovering well. Uh, the girls stay in constant contact with her and she stays in constant contact with our program. And thankfully, you know, through Zoom and FaceTime, she's not here physically, but we, we see her digitally every single day. Well, everything you this program's had to go through with Coach Baranato battling uh, breast cancer and COVID, what a win for you. Mm -hmm. So happy for you. So proud of you. Congratulations, Coach. 86-60. Big win. What are your thoughts on Friday's game against UNC Wilmington? I want to sit in this moment for a while. I'm going to leave Coach Chanel okay. to worry about UNC Wilmington. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy this win for probably about the next 30 minutes, and I'd be remiss if I did not highlight Brianna Hoover, yes. our sole senior. I am so proud of that kid. She's a kid that's, that's committed. She was our very first verbal commitment in that senior class, and for her to start – as a senior and come out and, and you get to see her hard work and her threes. I told her, Bree, you've taken one three. Yeah. And at, at halftime, I keep shooting. They're <laughs> going to fall. And sure enough, the ball found her and she showed the ball where it needs to go. Led the team last year. We'll see a lot of Bree Hoover this mm -hmm. year. And Thank she didn't you. miss another three-pointer after that's, that. That's right. She didn't. High-level accountability. That's right. Coach, congratulations on the win again. 86-60 over Martin Methodist. And we'll see you Friday for the game on ESPN+. Thank you so much.